Hi, good afternoon. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. Here you can see the Cyclops press brake. Now I bought that a little while ago to fit into my Sealy 20 ton press and it does a superb job of bending metal. The only problem I got, when I need to remove it from there, I've got to get help because that's over 40 kilos and I can't manage on my own. So I've bought a manual winch. And the idea is with a little bit of adaptation, metal plate here, I should be able to use it for lifting the press brake up, remove the crossbar there, lower the press brake down to where it is now, put the crossbar away, uh, back in I'm in, and away I go pressing out my bearings or whatever I need to use the press for. And obviously when I need to use the press brake again, pop out the bar, book it back up, lift it back up, put the bar back in, job done. So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're gonna to make a little frame, a few other bits and bobs for that, some bits on the lathe, so uh, away we go. Right, well that's the winch finished, all put together. You saw most of the parts being made, and I've simply just screwed them together now. Um, I've pinned this extension shaft for the handle. I didn't really want to weld it on there because I may want to dismantle it. The handle itself has been bolted and welded, though you saw that. Only difference on the plate to what you saw when I was making it originally, I've cut a tongue out of it. And the main reason is to allow the strap to fall equal distance uh, between the plate. I found when it was on the end here and you were picking the press, uh, the press break up, it tended to lift this and that's not desirable to say the least. So how it is, um, is very, very stable when it's resting on the top here and we'll, we'll do that in a second. Uh, let me turn this over, a couple of things underneath. Felt feet, so I don't take the paint off, poor old Sealy there. And there's some bolts with washers on it, uh, really just locating bolts. So they slide in between the two um, main cross member. So the press, sorry, the winch can't pull your way or go the other way uh, and become unstable. So what I'll do now, I'll get this mounted on top of the press and you can see how it works. All dead simple, on my press, you can pull a piston to one side this just slides on the top then, screws the back and in shot. Got no other way of doing it. Pop that in there. The locating bolts are in place now, so it can't slide backwards or forwards. It could go left or right, but with the weight below it, that's not going to happen. 
So we need to put the eye, 10 millimeter eye, single hole on the top of the press. Screw that down as far as it'll go. It goes in 15 millimeters, which is adequate. Latch that on. What I like to do is have the belt dead down the middle. If you have it on one side, it pulls this over as you uh, lift it up and down. So, it'll take the weight. I'll lift it to the top of the bottom of the piston. Then I'm going to pull a pin out of this and lower uh, the shelf if you want to call it that, or move the shelf out the way. There we go. Now down the bottom here, I made a nice aluminium shelf to receive this, but also other parts can be stored there. But releasing the latch, and it's just slowly down. It doesn't lock, the winch doesn't lock in the downwards position. So if I was to let go of the handle now, it'll go 100 mile an hour through the floor. So I cheaped out a bit. If you want to pay 200 pound, you can get an automatic winch that you can wind up and leave and it doesn't uh, unwind, or you can unwind it and let go and it stays where you left it. Uh, this was 30 pound, so it only latches one way. So I'm happy with that, I can live with that. But yeah, it's down on the ground, all I'd have to do now is detach a web in the belt there. I could take this off the top or could simply be slid to one side and the piston put back to the middle. I can put the shelf back in, the, the main stand there. So I can then use a Brent, uh, bench press fully, just as it was meant to, without having to get two people in to help me move uh, the, uh, the press brake out of the way. So let's put it back now. There's a latch on the, the winch that allow you to, uh, basically, you see the winding up. Look, no hands, and it, it'll stay there. So, there you go. I don't want to get too carried away with it swinging around, so I haven't got to go too quick winding them. that mechanism isn't latching at the moment so I'm gonna to have to look at that but once it is that'll stay there all day long obviously we don't want it there all day long so excuse me back again back to the position you want it it's all it ain't rocket science this clip might be oh there you go take the eye out the top it presses back to how it was so dead easy to move with one person for 30 pound a few hours of time and a bit of scrap metal here all done well, i hope you found that interesting this is certainly going to be useful for me in the workshop don't need to get help out from the house so uh, yeah thanks for watching mike makes it